Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to configure the data we have to flow from Node-RED to AWS. And then we'll verify that that data is arriving. So let's get started. So first things first, what I want to do is just go ahead and drag this line from this function to our PLC next slash temperature topic MQTT node. And then what I want to do is actually go a little more granular and I'm going to add device here for the topic. So basically, if you have multiple devices, you can set them up like this. Of course, your topic may be very different based on the data or hierarchy you have, but this should do the trick for us. So go ahead and click on done there and deploy. As you can see, we're still connected, which is great. And let's head back over to AWS IoT. Click and open this sidebar once again. Let's head down to test and MQTT test client right here. So now we need to subscribe to a topic. And I bet you know what that topic should be. Let's go with device slash PLC next slash temperature, just like so. Click on subscribe and then go ahead and head back to node red right here. And for the moment of truth, click this insert button. All right, we know it inserted at least to the debug node. Let's go check our IoT core. And look at that, we've got it right here, perfect. So let's take a look at some of the ways to make our MQTT query here or topic more dynamic. If you'd like, you can actually remove this last item here and add a plus sign and subscribe. Let's remove this old one. Go back and click insert, head back. And as you can see, once I highlight it, we're still getting our reading. That plus sign will basically replace up to one layer of our topic. So now what we can do is let's say we want to remove everything except for device. So maybe we had multiple devices. You can add the pound sign there or hash symbol or whatever you want to call it, depending on your generation and go ahead and click on subscribe. Let's try this again. All right, we are still getting our data. So this is a great way, let's say if you had multiple devices and you wanted to receive all of that data from every device, you could use this here. Now, what happens if we add a plus between and then temperature, let's take a look. Subscribe and remove this old one there. Let's highlight that and let's insert once again. Perfect, we're still receiving it. So as you can see, you can play with that plus sign, which again removes one item or the pound sign, which can remove as many as you need to allow you to receive dynamic topics. But for the most part, we're just going to keep it very explicit and keep it at PLC next slash temperature, just like so. We'll subscribe to that and let's make sure that still works. All right. Perfect, so everything works. So go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's take a look and see if we can start getting data to flow from AWS back to Node-RED.